Helium. A B3 with the best pawn is a quite good. Stop the knight from knight d5 entering. Well, but the knight d5 is not so boring. King, king f2, and you all, all of yours go to the right direction. That, so that was the centralization of the king. And by the way, I am decided, of course, the, he will go with the knight to d5. That, that's true. But as I said, the black needs uh, two pieces to stop the best pawn. So if knight go to, to good centralization square like d5, then black cannot stop, simply stop the best pawn. And I decided first to make immediately, immediately to, to make a best pawn with b3. And after take, I'm take, and look at this now, it's a problem for black. He, how to stop the, and how to control the a4, he's now under control. Black want to centralize the king and white challenge him with bishop d4. Attack the knight and challenge him. How to stop the pawn? If knight go to d5, then the problem is that the pawn is, for the moment, the pawn is not stop, stoppable and white on actually the, the white can start to push the pawn forward and he become a danger one and in the other hand if he play the the move like knight knight e4 then in in this case knight on e4 is locked forever look at this he, he cannot back to the game and if somehow white king comes to the and this is not this is not impossible that white kings come. He will take him, but actually white will go with his king here. And now let's see after h6, g6, h4. Let's say the position is still quite unpleasant for. Say I will stop the king, and the position is still. Quite unpleasant for black. Something similar was happened still in the game. So look at this. The main reason, okay, black played knight d5, but the main problem for black was g6. I think go to e7, and now look at white. Black king want to go to d6, but white don't allow him. That's the big, big yes. Bishop e5. Srinivas, yes, bishop e5, great, that's the move. Why don't allow the centralization of black king? And I played the bishop e5. So, black must allow his king to come to the center somehow, so he played bishop c6. And now, I don't want to push the pawn so far. First, I use the method of centralization. I play king e2, king d7, king d3, and, and white king goes to the d4 very strongly. And white king on the d4 have it. White king on the d4 has a two plans. One is to go with the e to the e5. And another one is to go maybe to the c5. So white maximize his. Well, the a5 is absolutely okay, and this is a very next move. But uh, why don't want to have the problems with let's say king c6, king b5 to to, to attack you? A5 is possible, but white can first improve the position of his king to maximum because he need a king. So he play first centralization of the king. Now black may be threat to control and maybe black likes to go with uh, king to the queen side, but white don't care so much. And now we come to one typical moment. You will see many times in two bishops, but we will see this a little bit later, that the fix, I say this is the fixer, like h4, they fix the pawn structure on the king. 
on the opposite sides and don't allow the bone structure to be flexible. Now, the, after H4, this is a fixer for the G6, for example. But a few words about this we will say later. And in the game, the, the black play king b6 with idea king b5. But look at this now, how the white uh, stopped the activity of black king, let's say, to go to a5 and b4, for example. Do you see, let's say, how you can efficiently